everyone! Today in this video we will be designing a social media graphic similar to the one shown here. This graphic is made specifically for Facebook and per its size requirements. And we have created a background template image for you to use when making this graphic. The template includes the pink background color, the white outline box, and the flower graphics so that when you add the image in, all of that's already there and you just have to add the text. This saves you time from having to fill around with the graphics and get them positioned just the right way. With Scribus open in the new document window, change the width to 1200 and change the height to 630. To place the template image inside the document, first we need to create an image frame. Go to the Insert Image Frame tool, click on the document, and change the size to match the document size since we want it to cover the entire document. So the width is 1200 and the height is 630. Drag the frame to match with the red outline on the document. To place the template image inside the image frame, right click on the template and choose Get Image. Navigate to where the file is on your computer. One thing when working with a background template image like this that you may want to do is to lock this image so that you don't accidentally bump it when you're working with other things. In Scribus, you can lock objects by right-clicking on the object and choosing Is Locked. Now we've placed the template image down and we're ready to add text. Let's start by adding the event title Go to the Insert Text Frame tool, double click inside the text box, and then write out your event title. Select your text. If you don't see the Properties window, go to Windows, Properties. In the Properties window under the Text tab, we're going to edit the font. The font we use in our example is a pretty script font called Bakery and we have the font size set to 185. Sometimes when you're working with text and you change the font size or the font, it will seem to disappear from the text box. It's not really gone, it's just larger than what the text frame will hold. You can fix this by just adjusting the size of the text box and making it larger. We want this to be centered on the page. We're going to change the font color to white. Now we're going to add the event date and time by creating another text frame. The font we're using for this is Avenir Next. And the weight is bold. Our font size is set to 60 point. Sometimes when you're working with text in Scribus, it will seem to overlap like this. We can change this by going to the line spacing setting and choosing automatic. We're going to change the font color to white. We want this text centered. To center the text, look under the line spacing setting for these options down here. The second one from the left is align text center, and that's what you want to use. We're going to add the address line, drag out another text box. We're going to use Avenir Next Bold for this text as well. and the font size will be 40 points. Under color and effects, make sure the color is changed to white as well. Lastly, we're going to add the bottom line of text that has the Spring Fest activities. This text will be using Avenir Next Regular, and the font size will be 40 as well. Change the color to white. One feature that Scribus has is called Preview Mode. Preview Mode allows you to see your design without all of these bounding boxes around your objects. You can toggle Preview Mode by going to the eyeball icon in the bottom right hand corner of the window. I find Preview Mode helpful because I can look at the elements on the page and see if something is off-centered or if spacing needs to be adjusted. You'll want to zoom in and make sure that the template image fits the entire document. 
Notice that there is a gap here in the bottom right hand corner of the document. This gap would be visible whether you go to print it or share it on social media, so you want to make sure that the image covers the entire document. We can fix this by clicking on the image. Temporarily unchecking is locked. Stretching the image frame to make sure it goes to this black outline, if not going past it, and then double click. Scale the image up just a little bit. Now we need to make sure that it's still centered everywhere. Once the image is adjusted again, make sure you right click on the frame and choose is locked so that it does not get bumped if you edit the text later. Finally, make sure you save your document by going to file, save as. Since you're going to be using this in social media, you'll want to export it as a format other than the SLA Scribus document. Go to file, export, save as image. Change your image type to PNG, choose where you want to save it, and then clicking OK. So if I go to open it really quick, you'll see it right here in PNG format. Thank you for watching this tutorial video on how to make a Facebook graphic in Scribus. We hope you found this video helpful and enjoyed it, and thank you again for watching. Have a great day.